Good evening. This is the video newsletter for BuySellShort.net for Tuesday, August 3rd. Pretty muted session today on Wall Street. Not really a surprise given the big advance we had yesterday. We had some disappointing earnings reports and economic data, but uh, you know, given the news that we had, being down you know 30, 40 points was not that bad, especially given the rally we had yesterday and over the last three weeks. Probably the biggest impact this morning was Procter and Gamble's earnings. Uh, traders sort of looked at it. Uh, this is a company that barely misses. They got their pulse supposedly on the or fingers on the consumer's pulse and know what's going on. But, you know, in my opinion, probably the reason Procter and Gamble missed was you've got uh, consumers retrenching right now and sort of losing their snob thinking, i.e., you know, you're starting to see a lot more store brands of popular products out there right now that, you know, I've tried a few myself. You really can't tell the difference. You know, why would you spend $4 for, you know, a box of cereal where you can get the generic store brand that tastes exactly the same for 2 bucks? And that's probably what we're seeing there. We also had factory orders uh, drop yet again, which was a bad sign. We had more negative in, uh, data from Home sales, not that much of a surprise there. This Friday, we have the July jobs report. Uh, going to be interesting to see what happens there. Uh, anyone's guess, any sort of big gains are probably unlikely. We're going to again have the loss of more census jobs. I believe the expectation for private sector jobs this Friday in the number is 135,000, but we're going to lose a couple of hundred thousand in census jobs, but the private number of what they'll be looking towards later in the week. Anyway, looking at the charts, here you can see the Dow 15-minute chart. Uh, we've sort of been bouncing off the 10,700 area. If you go to the daily chart, uh, you can see we got that nice spike there yesterday off the Friday lows. You know, this is a pretty extended rally that we're, you know, in the midst of right now. Support, uh, let's just say support from the 20-day exponential, so 10,375 to 10,500. That would be our support band right now on the market. SMH was really weak uh, pretty much throughout the session. We did get that nice spike off the 200-day moving average yesterday. Uh, if we do see it dip back down to the $27 area, it might make for another nice little quick scalp here. U.S. dollar continues its plunge, uh, which has helped the price in oil and commodities actually go on a pretty nice little run here in the near term. The move in commodities may be more of a macro event. Uh, just looking at oil and the spike in commodities, you know, there's growth overseas. You know, it's lagging right now in the U.S. or it's not going the way people expected. You know, 2 3% growth is not going to get all those jobs back, but it's growth nonetheless. And, you know, the dollar's approaching the 200-day moving average here. It's going to be interesting to see if we do get a bounce off that level. It is the most oversold the dollar has been uh, for quite some time now. Let's jump into some stock plays, however. DSCO continued to be a monster winner for us. The stock is up 60% uh, for us since our call last month at 20 cents. I hit our secondary target at 32 cents today. It's got a conference call tomorrow morning where they're going to update, up, uh, give us some updated information on their FDA discussions, uh, what they're going to do with the drug, and some strategic possible partners may be announced. We shall see. Uh, secondary target, uh, 37 cents on the remaining position that we're riding into that. Uh, like I said in the alert, you should have booked the majority of your gains right now and just ride a free position. On the back of that, PTN has continued to coil for the last month. Breakout is 19 cents. Uh, we'll be accumulating this one, 18 cents and under. RSI is about to break 50, which would light the candle on this stock. Uh, we also have stochastics breaking up through the 50 level. And then, as I mentioned in the chat room, we're starting to see unbalanced volume start to coil. Very good sign that should be indicative of a nice little spike here on the near term. 21 cents and 27 cents are our targets here. EPCT, this was a new trading alert today. Biotech stock that tanked in early July. The reason for this, stock was trading nicely in the $1.4050 area. Company came out, did a backdoor deal or something, sold shares at $1.10, so the stock went splat. 
been consolidating for the last month. We closed above the 20-day exponential for the last two days, which is very, very good. We have, as I mentioned in the trading alert, these guys uh, submitted a new drug application in at the end of June asking for fast-track approval. That news should come within the next few days, and that should be our catalyst for a snapback bounce to the 20-day exponential, which is right now at $1.23. RSI is looking to break 50. Stochastics is pretty strong, and on-balance volume shows the buyer starting to come in here. So this is a nice little setup play for us over the next few days. FCEL, well, you know, the setup we had late Friday was set up for a very powerful move. Right now, the stock is stuck in a trading range between a dollar thirty and a dollar forty so while it's doing that you know we're going to avail of that and grab those scalps you know five ten cents scalps a day as we're waiting for this one to break out uh, you know that's what we're going to do breakout would be a close at a dollar forty or above and our target would be the 50 day moving average at 156 ANX this was mentioned in the video on Sunday we got a nice spike uh, breakout there yesterday to 217 sort of treaded water today with the rest of the market should see this one snap back again tomorrow and we're looking for a 240 to 250 on this one with stops at the 20 day exponential so around a dollar 90 or so would be stops on this one last but not least SNSS uh, this one has been threatening to break out for the last week or so uh, we should see this one make a, a nice little move tomorrow. We had a spike yesterday, but these guys are presenting at a conference on Thursday. So we should see uh, traders move into this one ahead of that conference tomorrow, sort of like they did on DSCO. Uh, we're looking for a move at least to the $0.56 cent area, and then above $0.56, cents, we're looking at the mid-60s as a target. RSI broke 50 today, uh, which is very, very good, and tomorrow could be a very nice session on this one. So that's really it for the video. Short video tonight, um, just because we're having some issues with our video hosting. But uh, any questions, just shoot me an email, and I will see you guys in the chat room tomorrow. Good night.